Regular brakes will be fine, Maxie. Am I cute? Not too short or too tall? Too annoying. I'm smart. I heard Lane and Payne tell Jenny. Too smart by half, I think the expression was. So why hasn't Cam decided to foster me yet? Maybe she hasn't got room in her wall for your Pest of the Year award. Do you think Cam's noticed that I'm sometimes accidentally a tiny bit pesky? That's a tiny bit possible. Well, if that's all but stopping her, you can put her mind at rest. I can. When she comes tomorrow, tell her that I'm usually well-behaved and helpful. Oh, when were you thinking of actually becoming well-behaved and helpful? Um, next week. I promise. OK, if you're going to be picky, I'll start in the morning. I'll be a marvel of usefulness and helpfulness. Wherever I go, dirt will become clean. Mess will become tidy. Chaos will become order. Cam will love it. Going on. Everybody get out, get cleaned up. Oh, I'm not. <sighs> have you just got out of your bed? Yeah, my alarm clock didn't go off. I reset it so you can have a lie in. Why? We discussed this, remember? Good and helpful so you can tell Cam. Who will be here any minute? Helpful I am. She'll take me out of here straight away. I will whiz through this house, doing everyone's chores. And when Cam arrives, she'll be so amazed at what I can do that she will take me out of the dumping ground forever. Uh, that's enough helping, thanks. You're right. I don't want you telling Cam that I'm a boring old perfectionist. <laughs> don't worry, I won't. Hey, Maxie. Show me. Oh, no. Oh, shut up, Jen. Oh, it's the third pair in three months. My name is Senor Sol. Buongiorno. Oh, Sol, amigo. It's not funny. His clothing allowance for this year is just about gone. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll go do the shopping, I'll take him with me, and buy an extra strong pair. Oh, so sweet of you, leaving me all the fun jobs to do. Well, I had to give it a try, didn't I? I'll tell you what. I'll toss him for it when he goes shopping. Wait. Cam's fostering you is her decision. And you're supposed to help her make it by telling her how good I've been. Tracy, my telling Cam won't make... You're, you're right. Telling her's not good. I've got to show her how helpful I am. Mike, you better not be cleaning that kitchen. Let's not hurry back. Good thinking, Maxwell. Yeah, try and keep up, Adele. Quick, what shall I clean? The bathroom. 
She won't even see me up there. I'll send her up to watch you the second you get here. Yeah, I know. It's very, very scary. Whew. What sort of a mess do you call this? Uh, I don't know, Zach. What sort of a mess do we call this? Melanie. Mm. Nah, nah, it's too, too big, big to be a Melanie. <laughs> you can laugh, but I've got plans for all of you. A total clean-up campaign. A good fit. These ones. And they're very popular. You mean their fashion statement? I want them. They don't look very strong, Maxie. Let's try a few others. It wasn't a proper go! Cheat! Cheat! Listen, stop, Justine. Listen, we're just gonna have to call that a no goal, okay? Zach, Zach she gets to take a free kick. That's not yes. fair! It's as fair as I can make it. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell her. Yes! Tracy? Cam just called. She's stuck somewhere. Car trouble. She said she'd get here as soon as she can. Meaning I've slaved all morning for nothing? Um. Uh, yeah. Tracy, come on! Look, it can't be helped. She's having a bad day. So a bad life. Why don't you join in the game while you're waiting? Come on, let's go. He's not on our team. He's not on ours. He's useless. Look, Peter, when you kick, don't use your toe. There's no power in just towing it. Keep it the side of your foot. Like that. See? Dead easy. Walk. I can't believe these are the only ones that fit. Shall I wrap them up for you then? No. We are going to find a good, strong pair, aren't we, Maxie? Fantastic. Hey, what say we lock this stuff up in the van and go and get an ice cream? Yeah, let's go. Tell you what, next time your allowance comes in a couple of months' time, we'll get you the red ones as well, okay? Okay, hop in. I said, get in the van. <laughs> oh, no! Yeah. Why is Tracy mad at me? At everyone. A plan for the day went off the rails a bit. Plan? Yeah. To convince you to hurry up and foster her. Oh, I'm not organised enough to foster anyone. I can't even look after myself. Hang on. Hello, Mike Milligan. Jenny. Oh, all right. Don't, don't panic. I'll sort something out. Yeah, yeah, bye. Jenny is down the shopping centre. Maxie and the keys are locked inside the van. <laughs> you wouldn't run over the spare set to her, would you? Oh, you go. I'll watch the kids. 
I don't think that... Oh, please. Tracy's mad enough with me as it is. Uh, 20 minutes, right? You tell the kids. I'll be back. Maxi, my lad, not clever. <clears throat> Hang on, I'll give you a hand. Sorry. That oh, wasn't your fault. Oh! Get out of there, she's bleeding! Louise, stop that noise, get me a cloth. Zach, ring Mike on his mobile, he can't have got far. Further than his mobile. Don't worry, we can manage. I'm OK. Really, I am. No! 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 Max, open the door now. Why could you be so dumb? What? Hang on, where are you going? Where do you think? Wow. I bet it turns black. OK, people, back off. Give us some air. Look, red ones. Excellent. What happened? It, it was him. him! No, it was an accident. I walked into the ball. Oh, well, look, you thought to put some ice on it, eh? Oh, that was Tracy's idea. She's been great. Tracy's middle names are good and helpful. Round here, if you can't help yourself, someone will always help you. I remember that. I'm sorry I ruined our day out. It's OK. I don't mind. About fostering. You'll do it! I need more time. But it's a very hard decision. I can be more hopeful. I can. <laughs> There's no need, Tracy. I like you good, I like you bad. I like you just as you really are. You do? I couldn't like you any better. So, a little more time? Good day. Now, watch this space. Hiya, chicken. How are you feeling? Duke's made you something to eat. You are a rubbish nurse. You must leave sick people on their own in case they get any worse. My mum never left me alone for a single second. When I was ill, she'd wrap me up in my poorly blanket. She'd bring me flowers and fruit to cheer me up. You sit by me for hours and hours. Mum! Mum! Wish my mum could look after me now. Shouldn't we wait for Mike? Well, if we both pick one, he gets what's left. You go first. Let's see that one. Best of three? He made me jump when he stuck his fingers in my mouth. And you kicked his nurse. She shouldn't have been standing so close. Now pack it in, I don't want to talk about the dentist. Guess what, Justine? I'm on dentist patrol with you this afternoon. Take your shrimp pads. La 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 la. 
Lola. Someone mentioned the D word. Lola. It's all right. I got the short straw. <laughs> Is Tracy going to die? No, Maxie. It's only a bug. You know, like a tummy ache or a headache. Or... Oh, gosh. Dizzy. Looks like it's catching. What? I don't catch his germs. I can see spots in the back of your throat. Go, ah, ah. Uh, no, go, ha, ha. Again, but louder this time. Bog off, you're making me dizzy. Leave it, Justine. It's never going to work. She's trying to get the bugs so she doesn't have to go to the dentist. Get away from me, Justine, little boy. They're my germs, not yours. Don't you dare try and steal them from me. Ryan's caught the bug. Okay, be right there. Oh, thanks, Jenna. Are <clears throat> you okay? I just feel a bit dizzy, that's all. I'll be fine. There's no room on the sofa. <laughs> Do you A, tell an adult, B, post a photo of yourself in a chat room, or C... Justin, please, the noise is doing my head in. I didn't mean you have to go. Don't you want to get the bug? <laughs> Forget it. If that's how ill it makes you, I'll find another way out of the dentist. You're about to pollute a germ-free area. Go away. Could you give me a hand? Everybody's going down with it, including me. Is there a sign over my head saying emergency backup? Adele, I'm desperate. All oh, right, but I refuse to enter any infectious zones. Hello? Hello? What? Adele, is that you? What do you want? I'm a bit thirsty. Can I have a drink? Oh, great. Now I'm doing room service. Oh. 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 Jenny's not answering her phone because she's sick. Mike said Tracy's day. Now we've all got it. Hello, Elaine. Nobody's dying. We've all come down with a bug. Could you lay on some temporary help? No, you stay where you are. No, really. Honestly, we'll manage. Elaine? Hello? Nearly there. You'll feel better when you lie down. <sighs> I'll lie down now, then you can have a turn. But I got here first. Well, I'll toss you for it. Pet! How come I never get to beat you? Oh, oh that sucked. I think I'm going to faint. No. Oh. No. Oh. What took you so long? Good morning, Adele. I do have other responsibilities, you know. I was on the phone to Sylvan Lodge. They've all gone down with it, too. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, they're all asking for drinks, so I've made some more. Jenny's in bed, and I'll be in my room if you want me. Don't worry about me. I can manage. Huh. Duke, my tummy hurts. Yeah. Duke, get up! Mm. Bug two. No, you fell on me. Mike. Mike. Ah! Ah! Having a 
nice sleep, were we? Oh. Just wanted to let you know that I'm here looking after everything. Have this. It's important to drink lots of fluids to flush out the system. Oh. How are you feeling, Tracy? I was feeling better. Now I'm not so sure. <laughs> Even when you're ill, you've still got such a lovely sense of humour. I've got a nice, cool flannel. Would you like a rub down? Try it, and I'll report you to social services. <laughs> All right, you. It's just a thought. Because everyone's running such high temperatures. Has everyone got it? That's why I'm here. Elaine Boyack to the rescue. Great. Social work on a mission. Well, shouldn't you get on with it, then, instead of standing around chatting? Oh, you're right. Better get back to my patients. Good idea. Oh, don't forget your flannel. Oh. They don't stand a chance. Better do some rescuing of my own. I mean, I got them back. I know. Poor thing. Honestly, I am sick. It's nothing to do with the dentist. Don't worry, Justine. There's no dentist here. Probably a bit delirious. <sighs> Anything else I can do for you? Go away. Of course. Sorry. <sighs> oh, I forgot my flannel. What if she decides to come and keep us company? Don't worry, man. I'm already on to it. By the time I'm finished with her, she'll think that she's the one who needs looking after. I'm making lunch. Thought I'd make boiled eggs and soldiers. You better label the plates, then. Why? Because it's very complicated. Max eats hard eggs, Ryan only has soft. Justine has to be able to dip her soldiers in the yolk, but hates the wobbly bits. But Zach hates the... Tracy, I'm quite capable of making a few boiled eggs. I was only trying to save you trouble later. That'd be a first. I'm trying to be helpful, because you look a bit poorly. Are you sure you're OK? You seem very hot. Probably just the heat of the cooker. Are you sure? I hope you haven't caught a bug. It's very catchy. Let me know if you start to feel ill, because I'm very good at looking after sick people. Clear! <laughs> There's no marmalade on my soldiers. You have marmalade with boiled eggs. Don't be too hard, Nelu. I think she's coming down with the bug. You are looking a bit peaky. Are you feeling all right? I'm absolutely fine. Sorry to disappoint you, Tracy. Rats. She's not going for it. I'll have to think of a plan B. What? Oh, no, I have two and a half capfuls of squash. And the ads just below the top reach of the cap. Marmalade for Louise, two and a half capfuls for Ryan, and, and just below the ridge for Zach. Got it. What's that? Louise's marmalade, Ryan and Zach's juice, and Justine's ketchup. But she hasn't asked for any. Hey, there's no ketchup! I told you it was complicated. I don't know how you do it, Tracy. Well, you sort of pick it up if you eat with the same people three times a day, seven days a week. Tracy! Is there anything to eat? I'm starving, but I ain't coming out if Elaine the pain's still smarming around. You better wait, then. She's in full-on social worker rescue mode. Oh, why did she have to come here? Why couldn't she have gone to Sylvan Lodge instead? Why would she do that? Well, she said they'd all gone down with the bug as well. Plan B's in the bag. Gotta go, Adele. Have to have a word with Maxie. How are you feeling, Jenny? Well enough to eat a nice bit of soft-boiled egg? I'll tell her. Uh, you should always say goodbye, Maxie. Goodbye. 
to me. I'm not going anywhere. Yes, you are. Silver Lord, they're dying now. They need your help. Tracy, I've got to go, but are you sure you're going to be able to manage without me? It won't be the same, but I'm sure we'll struggle through. Oh. Rescue mission accomplished. Ladies and gentlemen, it's safe to come out now. A lady in the plane has left.